Leading with Honor, the book, starts out with my shoot down and capture. And that was, of course, uh, an exciting story. But the next five and a half years of being a prisoner of war were both boring and exciting. Uh, hours of boredom interrupted by moments of stark terror, we say, but flying and also by being a POW. I was a junior rank in prisoner of war, got to follow in the footsteps of some great leaders, and that really became the foundation of the book, the principles that I learned from those leaders and observing them and watching along the way. Well, people comment about the cover on the book, and it is quite unique. And when I first saw it, I was just hit uh, emotionally very hard because it reminded me of the hardship that we'd endured as prisoners of war. Our feet got torn up in those first couple of weeks. We didn't have any. They'd taken our boots and we were barefooted moving through the jungles and the rice paddies and so on. Our feet got torn up pretty badly. And it re represents the hardship, the sacrifice that we went through during all those five and a half years. And then it also rec represents coming home and having a real life, uh, carrying on with life, and uh, being able to, to live a good life. Some people ask, well, how did you come up with these 14 principles? Well, they really originated in my observations and experiences in the POW camp. I didn't have them categorized back then. They were just part of life, living there, and the experience. Then in my experience as a leader in the Air Force, I used them. And then as a leadership coach and consultant, I found that these things really are what's needed. I hope that people will read this book because it connects powerful stories that they will remember with practical leadership principles that have direct application to them in their lives. As I've been out speaking, I usually focus on two or three of the principles in the book, and the response has really been encouraging because people want to know the stories, but they also want to learn something, and these principles have been very helpful. Because of the title, Leading with Honor, and the fact that it's got a star on the front cover of the book, some people might think it's a military book or an extremely patriotic book or a political book. And it's really not any of those. It's really a story of our experiences. It's about leadership. It's about corporate America. It's about life as we know it, uh, dealing with real people and real situations. Uh, I don't have any political agenda in this book. I do have an agenda, it's to impact people with the idea of leading with honor and doing the right thing and having the courage. I talk a lot about leaning into the pain to do the right thing because it is hard to do the right thing. A big part of this book is being real about who you are and understanding who you are and being able to deal with that and you're not perfect, but you're trying to be better and you're trying to be perfect, you're trying to grow. I define courage as doing what's right and what you know you ought to do, even when it doesn't feel natural and doesn't feel safe. Overcoming fears to do what we know is right is about leading with honor. So that's a big theme of the book. Overcoming fears to do what you know is right, to do what your duty is, that's leading with honor.